Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosie and this is Rosie's Renovations. Today I actually have Mark with me because I'm not gonna lie, I did not do a single thing of the roof apart from maybe supply lunch to the to the guys every day or some days. <laughs> Can't even claim that. I've also got Kobe with us and uh, he's licking Mark's face at the moment so can't actually talk. Hey Mark. Hi everyone. <laughs> so, right, you're gonna share me your expertise because I actually have no idea. So, we started with, what do we start with? So we started with uh, knocking off or removing all of the old tiles, which um, should have been pretty easy, but because the roof was uh, sprayed Ow. with insulation, <laughs> it was an absolute nightmare. Um, there was about probably six to 12 inches of foam insulation um, on every single tile slash every rafter. So it took about half a day to remove even just a small patch of tiles on the roof. Yeah, and this was obviously after we'd got all the scaffolding up, um, which we got quite cheap, which we were quite lucky about. Um, so after we got... <laughs> Sorry, that's Kobe giving his ear a good scratch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so after he after we got the um excess what did we get the excess foam off after that yeah so we had to take off all the tiles and obviously chuck them all in the skip um and then once the whole one side of the roof was bare um we then had to remove the foam from the rafters which involved you know using a saw and just kind of chipping it away which again just took forever it was such a lengthy task um but yeah once that was all done we then kind of cleaned up all of the uh, the rafters, reinforced them. Um, well, I reinforced most of them as they were all pretty, pretty. Yeah. F uh, excuse my French. And yeah, then we started to lay the felt and the battening. Yeah. So I think what we, what you guys did, was a bit like one section at a time because it was actually terrible weather at the time. It was like so windy and it was raining. And I don't think usually roofers would would do a roof in those conditions, but these guys ploughed through, troopers. We had the week off, so we uh, had to utilise that time. Yeah, and obviously the scaffolding was up too. So, um, yeah, section at a time, and then we could, like, wind and rainproof it, at least weatherproof it, before the next day. So if it rained in the night, it wasn't an issue. Now, just to give a bit of background, we're actually, we did the roof because the state of the structural survey that came up when we were first looking at the house. And basically it was causing, the foam insulation in the loft was causing a lot of problems. So like condensation and damp, um, because there was no ventilation up there for the um, the air to escape or, or kind of dry out up there. So yeah, we had to get rid of it all. Um, the actual the roof probably could have lasted a lot longer, um, but because the foam was stuck onto the tiles, getting the foam off would have obviously involved getting the tiles off. So bit of background so yeah worked section at a time and then i guess all of the tiles were laid after all of the felt and batten was on is that right yeah so um the tiles because they're like all of them can be laid on top of each other without nailing till the end but some of the tiles this is why we haven't quite finished yet because some of them have to be cut to size down the edges and that takes quite a lot of time you got to kind of measure up what what the tile should look like and sizing and everything and use an angle grinder to get it cut down so that's kind of a work in progress it is pretty much done it's literally just a few bits and then the nails will go in um but yeah that's why there's no kind of finished product or at least picture i will take a picture once all the scaffolding's down um and then you can see the roof in all its glory from the street on the first i think well first few days um it was so windy, like it's literally blowing a hoolie, that we, well, they, <laughs> not me, um, it was really hard for them to get the, the felt down and the batten down because it was, that the wind was blowing so hard. So that was a bit of a, well, took a little bit longer than it should have as well. Um, it also, well, the state of the plasterboards in the ceilings that we'd already laid, like which was directly underneath the loft in each of the rooms, only two of them got damaged throughout this process. Uh, I think a foot went through one of them and the other one just fell off. <laughs> so that's something to bear in mind if you're doing, in like which order you do things in. Um, might be worth obviously waiting to do the ceiling plasterboards until after you've done a roof. Um, and then also 
Mark spent a lot of time cleaning up the loft. Um, a lot of the foam flew out <laughs> down the street, I'm sure. Um, but also just hoovering the loft, getting like after, after it's all been swept and stuff, there was bags and bags and bags of foam going down to the, to the, um, skip. So yeah, we had two skips throughout this process. Um, but yeah, 